Hey, what's up guys? Philip here bringing you another review. And today we're gonna be checking out the HK Gaming mouse called the Mira M. Now, if you're not familiar with HK Gaming, they make a lot of accessories. They make keyboards, mouse pads, mice such as this one. And the special thing about this mouse here is that it's a super lightweight mouse so it's going to be really easy for you to make accurate and quick movements and it's going to prevent a lot of that hand strain from daily use with the mouse be sure to watch till the end to hear what i like and don't like so much with this mouse so stay tuned for that so unlike most mice out there most of them come with like one or two different color variations but this mouse has 10 different color variations that's that's a lot of different colors so that's pretty cool that no matter what your uh, desk setup looks like or what vibes you're trying to go for, most likely they'll have a color that blends right in into your gaming or desk environment. The color I have here is called the Phantom Blue color, and this is gonna be a pretty clean look where it's just a black mouse with a neon blue cable. I'm really digging the looks of this one. So first impressions with the mouse was that it was super lightweight. Like I'm someone who comes from uh, wireless mice which have a battery and the battery is gonna add a lot of extra weight and heft to it I personally like to use Logitech mice and if you compare the weight of their mice to this one it's like a huge difference this thing feels like a feather it's like when you're using it it feels like you're not even like holding anything and the weight of this mouse is going to be 63 grams without any stickers that are included with the grip stickers but if you do want to add the grip stickers onto the mouse it's gonna add an additional two grams, which is practically nothing, but if you're like super, uh, like trying to lower the weight of your mouse, then I wouldn't put the stickers on there, but even with the stickers, I don't think it's gonna be too noticeable, but the gripping experience I think is worth it to get that extra grip and just add a tad bit more weight. Now the materials of the mouse are primarily made of a durable plastic material and something I'm a fan of is this honeycomb cutout. And this is another reason why the mouse is really lightweight is because of these cutouts. It's gonna like lower the amount of material that's on the mouse, therefore adding to that little weight. If you look at the actual materials that are used on the mouse, it's pretty much all made of plastic. The only things that are not plastic are the rubber or uh, these feet on the bottom, which they feel more like fabric-y to me, and the uh, scroll wheel here, which is made of rubber, and the cable, which the cable is actually made of what they call a paracord material, and it's pretty much nylon, and it feels very similar to regular traditional braided cables, but this one feels a lot more soft and kind of fluffy. I mean, the reason it's fluffy is because they made it like a little like thicker in the radius most braided cables are like super tight and it's pretty stiff feeling but this feels really soft and fluffy with that nylon material now in terms of size this thing is going to be fairly standard in its dimensions it's going to be 4.8 inches in length 2.5 inches in width and 1.5 inches in height so pretty standard stuff pretty much like most regular mice out there now the gripping style with this mouse there are three primarily grip primary grip styles that you can use with a mouse and that's going to be the palm grip which is when you put your hand over it like this then you have the fingertip grip where you use your fingertips and you don't really lay your palm on the mouse it's kind of like floating in the air and then you have the claw grip where you kind of put your uh, the, the back of your fingers on top of the hump of the mouse and let your fingers click like this. I found that all the grips work with this mouse, but the most comfortable one by far was the palm because the mouse is kind of designed like the shape of your hand and it just lays on there easily. Now there are some mice that are designed more for like the claw grip style, but this one is not really optimized for claw grips, but it's still totally possible, just not ideal. So now we're gonna do a little shake test to see if there's any rattle, so here we go. Now there is a little bit of rattle and that's primarily these buttons that are on the side here. And if I hold them and then try to rattle, there's literally no rattle. So the only thing that rattles slightly are these uh, side buttons here. And I am using a lot of like energy to get this thing to rattle. If I do it lightly, there's gonna be practically no rattle. So in like day-to-day -day use, there's gonna be no rattle. But if you're like trying to make this thing rattle, you will make it rattle. Now the clicks themselves on this mouse do feel clear and direct. There's not too much pressure needed to actually register a click. And here's a little click test. And then here's the side buttons, a little louder than the regular clicks. And then here's the scroll wheel scrolling. Very quiet, but here noticeable. 
and then here's a scroll click. Also has some sound to it. So it's not gonna be like one of those super quiet mice. One thing to note about the actual clickers with this mouse is if you push on the front, like closer to the back of the buttons, it's gonna require a lot more pressure to register the click because that's where the springs are. Now, if you move your finger more towards the center of the mouse where the right and left clicks are, it's gonna register the clicks much easier. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because if you have really small hands or you have maybe a child that is using a mouse like this, if their fingers are really short, they're gonna pretty much be clicking the back of the buttons and it's gonna be a lot harder for them to actually do the clicks because it's gonna require a lot more force to actually register the click. So keep that in mind that if you have small hands or a child that's gonna be using this mouse, then it might not be ideal. What's pretty cool is without software, you can actually change the color of the light. And to do that, all you do is you hold the forward button and push the DPI button. And that's gonna change the uh, color of the light on the fly. And then you can also adjust the brightness of the specific color that you selected by holding the forward button and pushing the middle mouse click button. And that's gonna adjust how bright or not bright the lights are. If you do want more customization settings than just DPI and lights, you can install the software and customize the shortcuts, macros, profiles, pretty much anything a gaming mouse software can do. Now I did mention I'll bring up my pros and cons and I don't really have much cons. And the only con I have honestly, like really is it's non ambidextrous. So it's only gonna be a righty's mouse. And that's not a problem for most people, but if you are a lefty, this mouse isn't really gonna work for you because the buttons are on this side and the way the mouse is designed, is that it's kind of made for righties only. Now the good thing about this mouse is that it's going to be really lightweight which is going to make it a lot easier to use this mouse for long periods of time and with accuracy. It's going to come with extra grips if you want to add you know grips in specific places like on the top or on the sides or whatnot and you get all of those features for only $50. Most mice out there that are like on this level they'll be more in the range of like $60 to $80 even $100 plus dollars for gaming mice of this caliber so definitely a good deal if you want something with good value if you are interested in getting this awesomely designed honeycomb shaped cutout mouse i'm going to leave a link down in the description below pointing to amazon on where you can pick it up and if you want to stay in the loop on future tech videos similar to this make sure you click that subscribe button and i'll keep you in the loop don't forget to like this video and leave your comments down below see you in the next one